In this video we will show you how easy it is to mount our ProSpacer to your car. Check whether the present IBA Pro Spacer is made for your vehicle. To do this, compare the enclosed certificate of conformity with the specifications of your vehicle's registration certificate. It is important that the front wheels are straight and not turned. Secure your car from rolling away by applying the parking brake and engaging the first gear. Should you have safety wedges at hand, use them too. To lift up your car applying a jack, please use only the designated points on the body. These are located in the area of the side sill near the wheel arches in most vehicles. The exact position is described in your vehicle manual. Initially lift the car only until the wheel is relieved, but still has contact to the ground. Now loosen the wheel bolts. Afterwards lift the car further until the tire loses contact with the ground. Before disassembling the wheel, support the vehicle with a jack stand. Before installing the Eibach Pro Spacer, free the contact surfaces of hub and rim from rust and dirt. It is best to use a fine grained sandpaper for this. For harder materials or impurities, you can use a wire brush. Please do not use oil or silicon containing detergents. These spacers are engineered as a pass-through system and are fixed with longer wheel bolts. The thread length of the longer bolts must equal the shaft length of the original screw plus the thickness of the spacer. Make sure that the color shape of the longer bolts matches those of the original bolts. First, attach the spacer to the contact surface of the rim and check whether the disc lies flat. The wheel spacers should be placed on without increased effort and rest flat with no play. Then check the same for the wheel hub. Now place the wheel on the Eibach Pro Spacer and secure it by hand with the longer wheel bolts. Afterwards, turn the relieved wheel by hand and check whether the clearance with the longer wheel bolts is assured. Remove the jack stand and put the vehicle back on its wheels. Now you can remove the safety wedges. Tighten the wheel bolts using a torque wrench. Mind the torque specified by the manufacturer. To avoid tensions, this must be done crosswise. Make sure that the tires have no body contact and the wheel cover is guaranteed. Afterwards, test drive to check the free movement of the wheels at full lock. After 50 km of driving, tighten all wheel bolts with a torque wrench again. Very important, if the parts do not yet have a general operating permission, like ABE or TTG, don't forget to register it in the vehicle's documents.